So let's quickly go through the 2009 HD Handycam lineup. All of them have Carl Zeiss lenses. It all starts with the lens. You need a beautiful clear lens to get your high definition picture. The Exmor sensors are available in multiple cameras. At the top of the line, that larger Exmor sensor will give you the greater noise reduction and greater optical steady shot. Super steady shot in all the models, touch panel LCD for great easy to control. XV color, which really is a big improvement in terms of being able to represent all the colors your eyes are able to see beyond what's been available in camcorders previously. You do need a set that supports XV color to get this benefit, but if you don't have a set with XV color, the pictures will still play back and look beautiful. You just won't get this enhanced color range. And stamina performance. All the cameras have incredible battery lives so that not only are you taking great pictures, but you're doing so for a long time. And when you're on vacation, you're traveling, you just don't want to run out of power. First model, HDR-HC9, our only HDV model. Full featured, we're looking at enthusiasts and semi-professionals who are familiar with shooting, looking at upgrading a current camera, or moving from a, another standard definition format. All the models after the HD model have some great new features, including Bravia Sync. So when you plug in to a Bravia Sync capable TV uh, from Sony, you can control it through the HDMI. So you use the remote that came with the TV. And you operate exactly like you do on the touch screen, but using your remote, you can play, go back, go forward, and operate the camera right from your seat in the living room. It's a great feature. Built-in 5.1 channel surround with zoom mics, so you get a full 5.1 surround sound. As you zoom, the center channel is boosted so that whatever you're pointing at becomes the main focus of attention in the soundtrack as well as in the image. Quick and easy navigation on the touch screen. If you watch the standard definition Handycam course module that's also posted here, we go through all these uh, options there as well, so we're not going to double it up here. Make sure you check out that standard definition 2009 Sony Handycam lineup to see how that works. In the memory stick lineup we have two current models, the HDR TG1, a great compact HD camcorder. It has a really nice finish, titanium, it's got a flash, 4 megapixel still, automatic lens cover. The HDR CX12, uh, more of a barrel style with the clear vid CMOS sensor, so you get great low life performance, 10 megapixel stills, uh, a fabulous camcorder as well with flash and an analog dial that helps you do you know, manual focus if you want to do a pull focus or, or something a little bit uh, fancier. You can do that on this camera as well. The new 2009 flash model, the CX100, is a fantastic camera. It is so small and light and compact and you get that beautiful high definition picture. Built in 8 gigs of memory with a memory stick slot so if you get a second 8 gigs or a 16 gig you can increase your recording time. Available in three colors, red, silver and black. 10 times optical zoom, 4 megapixel stills. It does have a manual lens cover and it does not have a flash like the previous models. So if your customer is really interested in shooting the still frames, the TG1 or the CX12 might be a better choice for them. But for sheer versatility and compact size, you've got the uh, 2009 CX100. So looking at the 2009 lineup really quickly, the XR100, 80 gigabyte drive, has a 4 megapixel, 2 megapixel Exmor CMOS, so very similar to what we're looking at with the CX100, but with a built-in 80 gig hard drive. Movie recording on memory stick, so it's a hybrid recording that you can use as well. Moving up to the 200, we get the great GPS features and the 120 gigabyte hard drive. The 500 and the 520, the only difference is the hard drive, 120, 240, but now we get the full 12 megapixel sensor for stills. We have that great optical steady shot and the extra work that's done by the CMOS sensor for the noise keeping that way down and keeping the image for stabilization way up. So these cameras are just fantastic starting at the XR100 moving right up to the top of the line 520. Now it's important to remember that the accessories that people use when they're taking a camcorder and shooting their memories really extend the enjoyment and thinking about Many people buy their brand new camcorder before they go on a trip, before a big event, and they will figure out at that event, if they don't get the other accessories, 
that there are some things that probably would have made it better for them. First being optional batteries. Just having extra batteries gives you peace of mind. You're not worried about things running out, and it just makes the shooting of the video much more pleasant. Tripods, if you're going to shoot an event so you don't have to stand there holding it the entire time, makes it really nice. Wide-angle lenses for shooting inside. If you're shooting a birthday, it's a Christmas event, or some other family gathering where you've got a lot of people in, you don't want to be sitting right in the corner and not being able to get everybody in at the table or, or playing a, a board game or whatever it is you're trying to capture. The wide-angle lens makes it a, a lot easier. If you're going on a vacation, a marine kit allows you to be able to use the camera in more uh, locations and areas. And finally, for sharing in HD, looking at being able to hook up extra things such as an HDMI cable right into your TV makes it so much easier to use. With the memory stick and hard drive camcorders, the ability to do HD backups with the VRDMC10 is fantastic. You just put in regular DVD recordable, so plus, minus, all those different kinds. You take the memory stick in or plug the camera in by USB and you burn a disc. You hit the one button and it'll burn everything off. And then you can take those discs, put them into a Blu-ray player or your PS3, and watch them back in high definition. So it's fantastic, it's affordable, and it's really easy to use. And if you want to use a PC, uh, you can do that as well and play these discs back in a PC. You can also make discs of all your pictures as well, taking all your old footage from your old video cameras and all the images from all your memory sticks and compact flash and even standard uh, SD cards and SD cards and you can put all of that together. So the VRD MC10 is a great accessory for people who just want to be able to watch the DVDs and not have to really worry about putting it all together. So finally looking to qualify your customers with HD if people have a high definition TV they absolutely want to get a high definition camcorder when they see how great the images look there's just it's just sells itself sometimes it's helpful to start the conversation by talking about you know what are you using now to capture your memories is it a tape are you able to play those back easily are you able to get them in your computer easily are you able to watch them on your high def TV easily and this is really the key moving from a, a memory collector to a memory viewer and sharer Asking someone, are you interested in great professional quality optics is another great entry point into looking at, you know, maybe you're ready for high definition. And even if they don't have a high definition television yet, if it's an important event or memory, they want to save it in high def now. The cameras are able to put out a standard def signal from the high def so that people can still watch the material, play it back on their PC, but to be able to see it in high def on the TV when they get their high def TV maybe next year or, or later on this year they'll be able to enjoy that so thanks for taking the time to go through this course don't forget to do the exam to get certified and we really appreciate you taking the time today